thrive off of emotional chaos and turmoil. This is why wherever there are women, there will be drama. Because get it, them being in their emotions is exciting. See, this is why when you are the nice guy, when you think you're doing everything right, when you're taking her out a couple times a week, when you're seeing her every day of the week, and when you're just giving her overall attention, you think it's going to make her happy. But this is exactly what you're going to run into. If you're doing all of those things, she will get bored. Women tell you they want a guy who does everything right, gets them flowers, who does all the perfect shit for them. But they, what they don't tell you is how much they hate that shit. They get bored because their emotions are involved. That's all, it, that's all it is to it. That's why you think of this, um, her, her time of the month when she's getting all bitchy towards you, starting arguments for no reason. Nah. It's because she's bored. She wants to excite things. She wants to get things tense. She wants to get things heated. Because she loves the thrill of arguments. Because women will try to never lose an argument. They'll never want to com- uh, admit to being wrong in situations. Because the more and more you try to argue and debate with her, it's getting her more and more excited. Women needs their emotions engaged. It's because when you are that nice guy, you're just not doing it for her. But we're not here to hate women. We're not here to bash them. Sole purpose of this is for you to understand her nature and for you to benefit off of it. For you to understand her nature and use it to your own ability. So for you to capitalize off of her emotions, we know women are emotional. We know women get excited from that. So then now it's your job to have her emotions. It's your job to keep her on an emotional roller coaster. One moment she's in love with you, the next moment Make her hate you. The next moment she's feeling jealous. The next moment she's sad. Then she's back in love with you. It's like an emotional roller coaster. She is excited. It keeps her chasing you. It keeps her wondering who, who, what other girl is going through this. Keeping her jealous. It's wondering what other, what other girls you're messing with because you know how to control her emotions. Because you're not doing everything right. If anything... You're doing everything wrong, and she loves it. Because you're not like everybody else. Everybody else is in her DMs, blowing her phone up, writing her paragraphs, cash in her money, giving her free food, free rides, free pictures. This is all of this shit. But you, on the other hand, you are not doing any of that shit so she's chasing you. She's going to want to see you more. And you should only be seeing this girl once per week. And then just by you doing that, she's going to naturally want to see you more. And then when a girl starts doing that to me, I take a week off. Oh, you want to see me more? Okay. You know, I, I don't tell her this, but the next time she wants to see me, I'm like, hey, you know, I'm busy this week. You know, I'm going to have to catch you next week. You know, I got stuff going on or I'm going out of town. You know, I'll... I'll I'll, I'll get back with you. So not only is she missing me, not only does she wants to see me more, but now I just disappeared for a week. So having her wonder what she did wrong. Where I went. Why am I not texting her? Why well, I can't make time for her to even talk to her on the phone. And then it's that week, you know, when you're out of town or hanging out with your friends... You know, just take a picture of with a with a girl. Post it on your on your social medias. She will watch it. Cause she wants to hear from you. And then it's gonna get her jealous. 
So she went from missing you, to wanting to see you more, to just wanting to be with you in that moment, to her feeling jealous. Then when she's jealous, she's feeling insecure because you found someone. I I'd hope it's that picture of that with that girl you took. I looks better than her, or either on her same level. Cause won't get her jealous, feeling out. She gonna be trying to figure out what it is about her, why she isn't good enough, what it is about the other girl you're with that makes her better. So she went from wanting to see you to her being jealous, and then it's that next week when you get back in town, you hit her up like, hey, you know, I want to see you, or you know, when, when, you know, I'm free, I'm free Wednesday, you know, see me at seven. So you're having her emotions go up and down, up and down. And it's exciting to her. That's why she constantly chases the bad boys. Because the bad boys don't give a fuck. And that gets her emotions going crazy. And then, oh yeah, when you get back, she still wants to see you more. And we all know when women want to see you more, you make them submit. How do you make them submit? You make them prove your loyalty to you. Whatever it is, your wildest fantasies... You wanted this girl to do. You tell her. Okay in order for you to see me more often. I'm going to need you to do this. If you wanted a threesome. Foursome. Tell her you know if you want to see me more than once per week. I'm real busy but I'm willing to make time for you. Then you know I I, I want a threesome. I want a foursome. Or if she wasn't swallowing your, your nut. When sucking your dick. You can tell her I want you to swallow. Whatever it is that you want. She will submit to you to show her loyalty for you. And then, oh no, once she submits, you're still going to see her once per week. So, to wrap this shit all up, she goes from missing you because she wants to see you more. Then you take that week off, you post another girl, so she's feeling jealous. Then you get back, you see her again. And she, she's missing you, loving you again. And then she has to submit. Then when she submit, she thinks, okay, you know, yes, you know, things are finally with it where I want them to be at. And then she's still only seeing you once per week afterwards. So then she's wondering, like, oh, I did, I literally did everything in my power. You know, what is it that I can do to get this guy? What is it that I can do to make this guy my boyfriend? I want him. But then in reality... There's nothing that she can do to get you to be her boyfriend. It's all it's all a game. You just have to know how to play it. Once you know how to play the game, then you then no one can beat you at it. Cause you're setting the rules. You set the rules as you go. So no one can figure you out. So no one can be better than you at your game when you're messing with these women. Because when they think that they figured you out, you have another thing coming for them. And it's constantly messing with their emotions. It's constantly wanting, just keeping them insecure. Constantly keeping them jealous. Feeling love for you. Then hating you because you don't want to see them. Because you're with another girl. Come on, fellas. This shit's all a game. Learn how to play it.